Beginnings 93. What's up, DBB 93 squad? I want to say thank you to all our new subscribers for subscribing to the channel as well as our old subscribers for returning. What's good, everybody? This reading will be for our beautiful Capricorns, and this will be your mid-monthly from the 15th until the 31st. So with this reading, you guys, make sure you take what resonates and let what doesn't fly bye-bye. As well as, if I say he and you are she, make sure you flip it to your situation. And if I say she and you are he, make sure you flip it to your situation. So without further ado, let's get into your reading. So the first two cards that we have here is, your desire is within reach. Have faith as everything is working in your favor. Assertiveness. Stand up for your beliefs and only say yes if you really want to. So with these two cards, I feel like for some time, you may have been going through a period of not really receiving what you truly desire. Like maybe you have reached that period of, you know, you are receiving blessings, but you feel like, you know... It wasn't exactly, you know, kind of not saying you're ungrateful, but it wasn't exactly what you thought it was going to be, you know? So I feel like this is the time to be like, okay, at this point, what am I going to do to better myself? What am I going to do to better my situation? And as you do that, you become more assertive in your life. You become more active. You activate your power. You activate yourself and it's more of you needing to know that you are powerful in this situation. Knowing that you can put you yourself to great use. So let's get into more of your reading. And this monthly will be different from our usual monthlies. So I will guide you guys through it and let's see how this goes. The King of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords, the Three of Wands, And we're going to take these last three for your outcome. And you're going to have to wait <laughs> for those. So let's talk about your reading, you guys. Right now, it's you putting a master plan together. The King of Pentacles says it all. The King of Pentacles is like, look, if you want this to happen, you have to put the Ace of Wands here, this action together. And for some of you, your endeavors could involve you needing to have money. This money situation could have hindered you in the past and this is you knowing that, okay, I need to put things together and this is you being about your business. This is you stepping your game up. This is you saying, I can't wait any longer. And if I wait, I'm gonna continue to let these opportunities pass me by. For some of you, I do feel like this could be you um, moving into a business venture. It could be you owning your own business. 
because I do have the Ace of Wands here with the Hierophant, meaning moving up into higher commitment, which at this point, you could be battling yourself to see if this is really for you or not. Seeing, you know, sometimes we go through this moment of should I or should I not? It's kind of like picking up a flower, which you probably shouldn't do this, but you pull off the petals and say, is it for me? Is it not for me? Is it for me? Is it not for me? But at this point, with the full card being here, this is you needing to take this leap of faith. This is you coming up out of your head. Because this is all part of your mental capacity that's stopping you. You know that this creative endeavor will set you forth to stability. I feel like with this situation, you know the outcome already. You know what could and should be here for you. And you know that taking action towards this situation... You have the master plan. It will work out for you. Your headspace, you're weighing up. You're going back and forth. You don't know what to do. Because then again, it could work for you. Then again, it couldn't. Then again, it, it could be the best thing for you. Then again, it, it may not. The Seven of Swords being here. You may have to walk away from something that, like a job. Something that is your stability right now. This may even involve you traveling. But whatever it is that you're walking away from is something that's been there for a long time it's something that you know gave you that comfort it's your comfort zone I feel like with this situation is you no longer wanting to just be the ordinary is you no longer I mean if it doesn't have to do with work it's no longer wanting to just be idealized it's kind of the energy of just flowing and wanting to be free. If this is about a relationship. With the king of pentacles being here. This is the energy of wanting to step forward. And make a stable foundation. Needing and wanting to build. Build this energy around a beautiful home. Moving. You could be wanting to move in with someone. Wanting to make a higher commitment with someone as well. Taking action. This action, you probably didn't take this action before. And now you're kind of regretting the fact that you didn't take this action. But the only person you're fighting is yourself here. Because you know what you should do, which is make the action. You know that you want to make this higher commitment. You have the wisdom to do these things. And that's why... The fool card is here because it's taking a leap of faith. But it freaks you out that you got to take this leap of faith with or without anyone there. With or without someone telling you this is what you got to do. Because eventually it's going to push you to that point where you have to take a leap of faith. Either in this direction or go back to being stuck to where you were at. But it's kind of you still going back in between. Do you want to stay where you're at? I feel like for some of you, it's kind of that back and forth between. Do I want to make a higher commitment to myself and go further? Or am I okay with where I'm at? The outcome? Fast 
fast fire reaction, the king of cups, and working hard. So if you're thinking about a relationship here, it's action that's coming towards you, someone who has these deep emotions for you, someone that's working just as hard as you're working towards this situation that wants this higher commitment with you. If this is about a job, this is an opportunity that can fulfill that warmth, that feeling that you want. Um, this is a situation that won't leave you feeling lack. Yeah, it's, it involves hard work. And yeah, it's going to come fast. And the opportunity will arise very fast for you. But it's going to be emotional fulfillment. Because you worked hard. If this is a business venture, you could have been putting in work time after time after time. And now it's actually here to greet you at the door. So it's kind of like, okay, what are you going to do? You're ready. You have everything you need. You even had a leap of faith here. The higher commitment, you worked hard. You have the wisdom you need to go forward with this. For some of you, this could mean expanding your business to further horizons. Make sure you read over contracts for sure, especially with the higher fit being here. I feel like um, for some of you, there's going to be a contract that's going to come into your lap. Make sure you read over it. Um, or if you're going to be reading over a contract, it could be a loophole to get out of something that's going to help you move forward. So let's go ahead and end this off with a beautiful card from the universe. I am the loving energy of the universe. I choose love no matter what. Thank you, universe, for helping me see beyond the limits of fear. Thank you for expanding my perception so that I can see what is of the highest good. Obstacles are detours in the right direction. And for your last card you have is my vibes speak louder than my words. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. If you haven't given this video a thumbs up, please give this video a thumbs up. And if your bell notifications are not turned on, please turn your bell notifications on. I will see you guys in the next readings. Have a great day. Bye.